Welcome, Brendan, everyone. How's it going? Hello? All right, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to be careful. There you go. All right. Hello, everybody. Hello. Little Flick Gallery. How you doing? All right. Yeah, this is the uh, the Deaf Comedy Jam of the of the evening, except it's kind of in the yards at Deaf Comedy Jam. I'm your host, the weird white guy. Uh, but anyway, I'm a dark comedian. Um, I'm not like Bob Ross with Happy Little Trees. Basically, uh, these happy little trees are going to be torn down and uh, she's gas station. So, um, so please bear with me. Um, there's another name for dark comedian that's called sexual frustration. But, uh, but yeah, so, um, so happy New Year's. Happy New Year. All right. Well, here's the thing I stopped drinking. Uh, not because I always get drunk, I don't really get drunk when I drink, but the thing is, I have high blood pressure. So I couldn't really tell in the morning if I was gonna get a uh, hangover or a stroke. <laughs> so um, I just decided not to flip the, uh, turn the, you know, roll the dice and everything. So anyway, um, and here's the thing about New Year's Eve. Uh, some people are just not educated about uh, certain things. And uh, um, hold on one second. I, uh, I'm, I'm I'll tell you later. Uh, there, thank you, beautiful, thank you, sorry. <laughs> Oh, careful. I don't want to kill anybody, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, um, so a friend of mine was like uh, telling me that he was making a New Year's revolution. I said, what you need to do is have a resolution and buy a dictionary. So yeah, so, um, but uh, my wife, ever so nice, so, uh, she bought me two chairs for Christmas, okay? One is for like, um, this was like uh, up here. As you can see, it's bare as the Sahara Desert. And my wife suggested to get another shaver for down there because it's like an Amazon rainforest. So I did a good job. Actually, uh, when I touch myself, I have to file for, uh, for sex offender status. So uh, yeah, it's like, uh, but, um, but okay, so let's get it. You know what really seems to me though is these Jarian's commercials. Have you ever seen these Jarian's commercials? Okay. It's this large woman, and she's like, has anyone see? She has diabetic and everything, and she's the only fat person in the entire commercial. And everybody sings and dances around her. It's like fat shame in the musical. And she's like, I'm the only, I mean, and she's like being explained, I'm the only fat girl in the world. It's not what you think. Even the white guys buy me a drink. I mean, it's just like, you know, it's, and I just don't like the exploitation of like certain things. You know what gets my go to? You familiar with the Trans commercial? Okay. <laughs> all right. It, it, there's these other kids and they're, and they're, you know, they're all kind of things and everything. There was one guy who writes with his feet because they don't have any arms. And there's this one kid who sulks and is a wheelchair. And he goes in and he says, I don't like hospitals. And this big dude with the, well, it's another dude in a wheelchair, a little larger. He has a raspy voice. And he goes, and for your, and for your contribution, you got a free adorable blanket for the reminder of your, you know, caring. And I'm like, and the kids are like going, I don't like hospitals. I can see the kid going, relax. It's not a hospital. It's a happy freak show. But that's the thing about, you know, it's just, it's just like, um, maybe it's good that you didn't see these commercials. So I hope that you people see these commercials. And I'm sorry that you did, but I just don't like exploitation or everything. everything. It's like going, I mean, and then you have like those ASPCA commercials with Sarah McLaughlin. And the arms of your angel. And you see a mangy dog. And you're eating dinner at the same time. A roast commercial would be better right now, like a roast break commercial. It's just like, it's just like, I don't know, it's just, I mean, you know, really just let me eat my dinner, man, and don't make me feel guilty about everything. I mean, and these trans commercials, I mean, it's like going, okay, I know you got everything there and you're being taken care of, that's great. And, you know, charity is important. And I believe in charity and everything, but what exactly where the money goes to for these things? Booze and hookers? Hopefully. Yeah. It'll grind up their day. Uh, but, um, 
But here's the reason why I'm recording myself. Uh, my aunt uh, passed away New Year's Day, and uh, she lived in Florida. So um, basically, I'm recording myself so I can like uh, get some gigs out in Florida. So that's the reason why I'm doing that. And so, because my aunt never seen me do comedy, so I'm doing it in her uh, in her spirit, in her in her memory. And um, but here it says in Florida. And the uh, thing about Florida is like, if I go down to Florida, it's like being a Christian missionary, teaching the savages about Jesus Christ. And instead of like beer, instead of like um, bones through their noses, it's like beer, uh, PBR beer cans in their nose. And you know, I have to say, Jesus is good, don't eat the bad salts. So yeah, so. Um, and you know what Florida is, ladies and gentlemen? Florida is like this. Florida is like um, if uh, if New York and California had a child and was adopted by Alabama and then married Cuba. <laughs> so yeah, so um, hope you guys like me now, Florida. But no, uh, but uh, that's the thing. It's like it's going to be an interesting. You see, my mom, she lives in Waynesville, but she actually went from New York to Florida, and she came up here. Now she wants to go back down there. And we know what Florida is, ladies and gentlemen. A place to die. But see, the first time didn't do the job. She wants to go back there, so the second job time will do the job. And uh, so, you know, that's Florida. Um, yeah. Uh, but uh, but I, will, I will try not to sell to other states here. Um, I mean, we're, we're North Carolina, so we... Well, I can say this. At least we're not West Virginia. <laughs> but anyway, so. Uh, um, okay. Eggs, no. I'm sorry, that's more gross for us. Um, but. And we have a new recording policy and everything. And actually, blame me for that. I had a couple of comics who did not want to be recorded, so. Um, I don't mind being recorded myself, um, as long as I have my clothes on. If I did this naked, then I'll be showing off my shaving skills. Um, you never get paid for that. Yes, and you have a lot of But anyway, so, but uh, but thank you for playing off me, and thank you for being the prim for the prim as I am. And uh, um, I'm going to make an announcement uh, sometime soon, but we are going to have a all county show in February. It's going to be around St. Pat uh, St. Valentine's Day. And uh, we're going to see the name and everything. Uh, what we're trying to do on the same Valentine's Day and President's Day, in between on the seventeenth, that we're going to call it the President's Day Massacre, but somebody didn't like it, so yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're going to think of a better name, and we're going to have at least a few comedians here to make you laugh. But I'm sure I assure you, they're better than me. But uh, yeah, there you go. They need books. A lot of people need books. But anyway, but um, but uh, anyway, so um, I'll be uh, but uh, I'll be uh, I'm running up from Long Island and everything, and uh, I'll see y'all next time, and. Uh, Hopefully I'll see you uh, in, in February, and hopefully I'll see you on Florida. So thank you very much, and uh, uh, enjoy the rest of the show. And again, my name is Brennan from All Now. Thank you. All right, Brennan from All Now, thank you so much. And be sure to check it out, and we wish you luck in your endeavors in Florida. All right, and up next, and I guess last but not least, will be Miss Ivy Rosen. We are. <laughs> um, which Rosen writes at Instagram, right? Instagram Rosen writes. You can find Miss Ivy Rosen. Please welcome Ivy to the stage. Hi, Ivy. 